that you are able to see from my camera angle. And I'm just gonna hung, hung? I'm just gonna hang on a little bit just so that people can catch up. We are gonna be completing the second layer of the project we started yesterday, which is a resin ocean tutorial. The way that I do it when I am upcycling frames. And today we are gonna be focused on creating depth. Now I'm gonna be using slightly different pigments to the one that I used on the first layer. You might say, why Sharon? Well, I'll tell you why. I didn't necessarily like the tones in here, but it's created a nice depth or base layer for me. I'm gonna use more transparent colors now, and we're gonna bring some of the blues down here, and hopefully we're going to just bring it alive more. We're gonna add some more wave movement, and Bob's your uncle. It should be great. So hello, Sandy. Welcome back. I hope you are well. Let me know who else is in here with me this evening. Always nice to know that. And we've got Alison. Welcome, Alison. Donna from San Diego. Glad I caught you today. I'm glad you caught me today as well. Hello, Patricia. Welcome, my lovely. Um, I've prepared my resin already. I'm going to be continuing exploring. Hello, is it Jeanette or Jeanette? I think it's Jeanette. Stacy, hello. Renee, welcome back. Now, this has got masking tape around the top edge, so if you do see bits of crap on there, that's why I put masking tape on there, because I'm a messy worker. Easily pull off. The only place I've got some on the inside is here. But I'll worry about that once I've finished my uh, next layer and see where we are. But I'm going to show you the back of the board because we talked about whether you'd get leakage from using an, a board that you can upcycle. So we've got Sherry from Ve Las Vegas. Welcome. We've got Susan from Reading. Um, what's Reading CA? Let me know. Catherine in. Welcome from Oregon. Hello everybody in from US and oh we've got recliner in here. Oh thank you so much. So that's from Wisconsin. Hello Yorkie Mom, welcome back. Uh, good to see people representing all over the world and a few UK people in here. So I'm gonna flip this bad boy over. I've not done anything since yesterday. I do need to make sure my level gets back. But if you can have a little look at the back of the board there, hopefully you can see it. Even though we had little holes down it by doing the acrylic and putting that tape in there, there's been no leakage. So it's what I thought it would be. Any of these boards, it's minimal. So just make sure you do put those three layers of masking tape in there and make sure that it is um, sealed. I usually put my fingernail just to make sure it's right inside the crevice. Oh dear, we're gonna have a problem with this. I keep falling out. So I'll put that part on there. I will double check that I have got it the right level again now that I've moved it. You should always, always, always do that with resin. Otherwise, you could work on your composition and then the nature of resin will do what it wants to. Now, I need to check if that's in a good enough angle for you. So I seem to have moved it a little bit the other way. Let me get that refocused for you. Oh, I've got my bits falling out everywhere. Welcome to Alive with Sharon. <laughs> help, help, I need a third pair of hands, please. Well, third, I need a second pair of hands, let alone third. <laughs> The joys of moving it when you had it all set up for live, eh? Bear with me. It is important that I get this right. I will also come back and check that you are in a... I think you're in a decent camera angle there. I think it's slightly moved over. I think that's as good. You're just going to miss the top corners. Apologies. Let me just double check my levels. Okay, that's good. Otherwise, my waves will do something that I don't want to do. And they'll change shapes. Okay, so that's as good as it's going to get. Let me see who else is here. Hello, <laughs> Cynthia, in here. Stacy, I think I said hello to you. But I can say hello again. Ah, oh, California. Thank you, Suze. Um, who else have we got in here? We've got Louis. Welcome. Tia, welcome. Yes, I'm very happy so far with the way it's set. I've checked there was no leakage. All my shells have stayed where it's going to be. I've mixed up my resin already just, just to save a bit of time for this evening. So I've gone with 300 mil again. The difference is now I'm going to be using Casting Craft, which is what I used last time, so that's all good. But I'm going to go back to my Peebo, which is 
my personal preference when it comes to some oceans that I want to create. The casting craft responds really well with this. And um, there's not necessarily the battle of the weight of the white falling to the bottom. So this one is turquoise. And then we have a green blue. And then we have a blue green, very similar, but they're just different uh, shades. This one is the cyan. Now this one doesn't necessarily respond very well with resin if you put the balance incorrect. It goes quite marshmallowy quickly, but it does work beautifully, if that makes sense. So I only ever add my acrylics to my resin as I'm pouring it. That way you, you, you're gonna not waste any. And also I'm gonna show you how I continue to use one cup so that I, I bring through some of the tones through to some of the other colors. And last but not least, a very little bit of the ultramarine, which is just gonna be around the edges. So we're going to bring a bit of the green through to the sand now. We're going to try and get that foam to come a little bit further forward. We'll gradiate the colours and then we'll come in and we'll add some more of that foam on there. Now, you're going to think, well, it's all going to disappear. Well, yes, but not. <laughs> because it's transparent, every one of the layers here will still show through. That, for me, is aesthetically pleasing because it shows a little bit of depth, a little bit of churning. And if you play it right and you put your white just over the top here some of those darker tones are going to come through and it's going to add to that sense of movement that's that's just my preference not everybody else and i know resin can be expensive so if you want to just stick with one left that's great but i challenge you to do a ocean piece with the exact same pigments exact same composition but do one with just one layer and leave it and then do a second layer and if you get them more transparent the layers that come up uh, the more it adds, I think, depth to that piece and that movement. Anyway, back to the chat. <laughs> Show, sorry, Sharon. That's the best I could do, getting new hands. <laughs> Did I say something really so, really funny there? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, hands. Uh, oh, oh, I get you now. <laughs> Johnny, welcome. I think I said hello to Sandy, but I'll say it again. Uh, we've got some wonderful people in with us this evening. So within my resin, which has just been set in, those bubbles are still going to come to the surface. I'm not too worried because oceans have bubbles in there and I'm embracing the bubbles. I've added the same um, glitter in there, which is the Just For You Ignition Dust. And because I want a little bit of sparkle to start coming through now, we never did that to start with. So I'm going to start getting on with it. And I'm going to pick one of my cups up and we're going to start moving through. And I will keep glancing at my camera every so often just to make sure. Oh, happy birthday, Patricia, for yesterday night. But if you haven't already, on your way out of watching this live, if you could give me a thumbs up for this video. If you feel that it adds value, give it a share. That's what really helps me and my channel to continue to grow. Now I'm just going to start, and this time I'm not pouring them all out and spreading them, <laughs> what I tried to say. Last time I distributed my resin to start with, this this time I'm not because I'm going to use most of them coming through in the cups. I'm going to put a tiny little bit clear down at the bottom. I'm not too bothered, bothered, <laughs> put my teeth in Sharon, if it's going to cover some of the stones. I'm purposely doing it, the reason being it's going to add a little bit of protection to some of those shells. But this part here on the beach, I actually want it to look like it's slightly underwater or that wave's just gone out. I'm not going for a dry sand approach here. So I'm just going to let that resin move forward a little bit. I'm just going to help it towards the edges. I'm not too bothered about the resin dripping on here while it's clear, but I will try and keep my eye on it as I start to add my shades to it. Anyway, how has everybody's Mondays been? Me and Neil went for a beautiful walk in the New Forest again, which is a, a local, um, like, let's say, bit of nature that's protected. And you get all the wild horses there and animals. There's a load of cows there today. And I don't mean uh, nasty people. And, uh, yeah, we were walking for, I think, two hours. Took a friend with us who's got their dog, so Zeus had a little play friend. And got a little bit of suntan on my face, which surprised me because it was quite humid and overcast the past few days. But we took the sun out with us. Just making sure that some of this clear. 
and it's going down this way just around those shells there now you won't be able to see it but there's a tiny little bit of sparkle there and that tiny little bit of sparkle will just add to I think the illusion of that beautiful sea uh, Louis, yes, I do wear a mask doing this. I recommend that you wear a mask doing them. Um, I'm when It's very hard when you're doing a live. I tried to get a microphone under my mask and I couldn't do it. But before I start adding the colours, I am going to put my mask on there. It's just very hard for people to understand me. But Charveda will be back very soon. Uh, so bear with me with that while I get that out. But thank you for that. And I do recommend everybody wears a mask especially when they're going to be applying heat to their resin oh you're 21 patricia oh with 39 years experience amazing well hello paula <laughs> uh happy belated birthday uh to you patricia i can't believe it's going to be my 50th coming up in uh in september i'm i'm really grateful to be alive to celebrate it and hopefully i'll be over there in vegas baby no patricia unfortunately paul it didn't i didn't know i'd got your email address patricia I'll, i said i'll have a little look through but because i've been on holidays i've been kind of out and about and been ditzier than normal so i've not forwarded it on yet but i will look at doing that um no she hasn't sorted it yet <laughs> yes she did ask i can i can swear that she did ask <laughs> But I was in the middle of a movie and watching uh, Cuddling with Neil, so I will have a little look. Is it under the name that's in here, Patricia? I know that we've had communications. I just didn't know whether it was through Messenger. Uh, bear with me. I'm just taking my gloves off while I put my respirator on. Otherwise, I am going to get this bad boy in my hair, and I do not want to cut another two inches of hair off. Let me know if that volume is okay. I'll try shouting so you can hear. Charveda. <laughs> it takes me a couple of minutes to settle down when I've got the mask on, especially if you're talking into a live, because normally you're breathing by yourself while you're creating, but trying to <laughs> take some oxygen in and speak to you all, it's uh, slightly more challenging that you might think okay i've added my clear to there now i'm going to come in with a little bit of the tur turquoise not turtle now this particular tube is nearly at its end so if you have a large blowing motion i am not farting it is my acrylic and when it's coming to the end it does have a little bit of a rip noise Oh, no, it squirted out. Okay. So I'm only going to put a pea size in there. It might be too much, if I'm being really honest. I'm going to put it onto this. And then give that a... What are you doing, Sharon? I don't want to get my spatula directly onto the resin. Giving those for a little clean off. I'm lucky to say that there wasn't any wind motion. No far, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, so I will work out if I've done that too dark. And you might say, well, sure, it's still a transparent. And I'm like, yes, it is. But I wanted it to be even more transparent as it's coming to this area. So I'm just going to put some on. If I think it's too strong a colour, I'm going to add some more clear. Okay, I've just got that right in my elbow. Let me just clear off that resin. <laughs> so I'm just going to gently, gently, I don't know why I'm gently doing it. Well, people that know me know I, in my lives I slap things on. Alright, so that is going to be a nice colour. Apologies for my hand. So I'm just going to weave this around the rocks and start covering up this foamy area. Now, Alison, on the replay, were you inspired or did you find anything that would help you when it comes to your own ocean? 
I want to know. Just going into all my nooks and crannies. And I'll be continuing to use this cup throughout. I'm just connecting this now with the clear. And that's going to help that bleed into each other and start to dilute some of that blue. So hopefully it'll look a little bit more organic. There it is. A little bit of water that's just lapping onto that beach area. And we will add a little bit more of the white foam again going over the top of it. Where it already is, but that's something to worry about later at the minute. I'm just making sure every crevice has a little bit of resin in there. Oh yeah. Anyway, how's everybody else's Monday been? Has it been back to the grind, back to work? Have you been off? Have you been creating? Um, yeah, Mondays. I hope it's not been a manic Monday. Because you might wish it was Tuesday. In the words of the cure. Now you might start covering up some of your shells as well. But don't worry. You'll still see through them. You will still see through them. And I think that's what adds to a really nice beach scene. A little bit of depth. Pretending that you got your toes all wet while you're under the ocean. Well, well not, not while you're under the ocean, while your <laughs> feet are. And I'm Sharon and I'm digressing. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so fairly happy with that. Just mixing that line in a little bit more. And then I'm going to start to slowly darken that colour but before I do that I'm going to check chat check chat check chat hello resin art from Colombia loving all those hearts hello Helen from Florida <laughs> oh I'm just oh Stacy is he okay Oh, Marion, I got a bulging dish, wish it would hurry up and heal. Oh, Marion, that sounds painful. You want to create ready, but you're expecting a house guest. Well, enjoy the house guest, but in any quiet moments, think about your next project. <laughs> so I am now going to add a little bit more. And I'm going to try and get it a little bit darker. So my pee, hopefully I don't fart. Should be a little bit more. Oh. Didn't get far enough down my stick. What a mess, Sharon. Now this Peebo does blend in beautifully with the resin. I personally have not had issues with it and when you add that uh, casting craft to it, it looks lush. You might be able to see that looks a little bit darker. Ah! So two places done with. I'm going to do the same thing now, which is just get this. Again, don't worry if this foam is being covered up. You can still see through it by the time I've done with it. I'm just going to make sure that that kisses the other resin and that starts to blend in nice. If I feel it's gone too deep in colour or too opaque, I'll just add a little bit more resin just to bleed that in and then we rinse and repeat. I'm 
just making sure my starfish got some rises. So as I start thinning out this rosin, that's where you start to see that white coming through a little bit. I like just add a little bit of clear to it. Just want to dilute it down a little bit. So just grabbing some clear on my stick. I don't want it as opaque as it was and then I'll just blend through some of that resin I'm just trying to get it to graduate a little bit more so I do it in a circular motion no more no rhyme or reason I just find that you get some nice movement within your water you do create bubbles so I'm going to be giving it a blast Okay, slightly happy with that now it's um, less opaque. And that resin will continue, or the pigments will continue to move. And when you get that movement in the water, it just adds to that sense of it really is just churning off, lapping in. Okay, so I'm going to go through now to the using the same cup but we're going to go through to the blue green it's going to look very similar to this so i'm only going to put a little bit of it and then i'm going to put the green blue the reason i like those colors is they have a little sparkle to it <laughs> anyway let me get on with this you, you're all chatting with each other which is great About the same cup full. I'm now going to the iridescent blue green. You might be able to see a different colour in this, they're very similar. So again, a pea sized shape. Just give my brush a wipe off. So I hope on camera you might be able to see this shimmer. If not, you'll see it tomorrow <laughs> when I lift it up. So it's almost got like a pearly feeling. Let's drag a bit more through there. It's all about subtleness, I feel, is what you're going for. Like subtle changes in tones or pigment is it transfers up to the I say choppier water but not necessarily I'm checking and I'm getting all down my edges and blending that in a little bit just swirling my stick And then we're going to add a little bit of the green now. And you, I don't know if you can see, but you can still see that wave coming through Alison. And that's what I'm referring to because that's now going to be a very dull white. When we put clear white on top of it, it's going to start to add depth to your wave. So this is why it's important. In my opinion, you do the multiple layers. Okay, going for that green blue now. Need to make sure I leave myself enough white. I think I saw 
for a bit. It's the only problem when you recycle cups. You can try your hardest to give them a good clean, but there's always a little, little rogue thing that will come out. Helen, welcome. Helen, you're new to live videos. Welcome. So anybody who's popping in here, even if it's just for five minutes, really, really appreciate it. Remember, if you are watching this but you're not in live chat, I won't see your comments until after the video is finished and I re-watch. So if you are in the background and you're thinking, why aren't you answering me, Sharon? It could be because you're not in live chat. But we have some beautiful people in here that are regulars that will be able to help you through and hopefully get you into a beautiful conversation whilst I'm creating. And hopefully we feel like a community whilst we're also watching some art. Okay, so this is the green version of it, which I absolutely love. That is really complementing those colours that are underneath. I might add a little bit more of that green. Love it. I'm going to get my brush, my brush, my stick around just to try and blend some of those colours through. It's looking like it's gradiating. I'm going to do some more of that green. And then I want the tiniest bit for the... I actually don't need a lot more, but I will add... A little bit more. Make sure I've picked up the right one because they look similar. Green, blue, blue, green, green, blue, 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 green. Johnny, my gloves are just a sticky mess, but I've kept them on. I'm determined to keep them on until I'm ready to add my white. Because then it'll be all white. But I just remove them, remove them from my gloves. Sometimes I think I'm funny. I'm glad that you love to see how it slowly builds up over the layers. I think it adds a lot, a lot of value. But not everybody prefers to do it, so I'm glad you are seeing this all come together. Okay, I'm going to use the same cup, but I am going to move on to the cyan. I don't need as much as that. Bearing in mind, I'm trying to keep some back for my white. This is the one that can go quite like marshmallowy. Oh, nearly stood my cup in the resin. That wouldn't have been good. I've got a paper towel at the side of me that I keep swiping my stick on after I've finished just to clear it. Good morning, Juliet. Welcome. Hope it was a nice surprise for you to come in and see this live. of the ultramarine so I'll just work out if I want to add any more of this blue or if I want to stick to the ultramarine but I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit see what that's looking like 
and then start to blend through. I'm just going to blend this through a little bit now. It's not such a harsh transition. And stirring it into each other <laughs> and then start this is sometimes where I like to get my fingers in for people that's just joining me I've got a respirator on so if that's why I sound a bit distant or strange or you can hear heavy breathing yes that's from me okay last colour I think I'm going to add a little bit more of that cyan and then a little bit of the ultramarine. My bottles of acrylic are just going to be so tacky from resin because my gloves are a mess. But I'd rather have those tacky so they can dry than waste the gloves. And then what I might do is drag a little bit of this through to the other colours. Just tiny little strings like this. And then when I bleed that through, hopefully that's going to add to the ocean movement. If you're sticking with me throughout this whole process, thank you very much. If you're just staying here for five minutes and watching replay, that's okay. Oh, and not the camera then. So I'm just going to get my stick and just drag that colour through a little bit. I don't want it to disappear altogether. No ocean is just one solid colour. colour is the ultramarine blue and then that should be enough I've got enough clear there for the white and if I do need to top up anything if I make any mess I've got enough clear back to fix that this ultramarine blue just adds to the dramaticness of the sea I know, I know that the transition of the ocean probably wouldn't be this intense so near the coastline but it's my imagination <laughs> so my sea is just going to be perfect for the environment hello Petra welcome thank you so much for the time so you put pictures of your beach at night coasters on your Facebook page Julia I will go and have a little look I am so far behind when it comes to being able to be on top of my admin and everything like that. I'll check him out. But that's a really good reminder as well. If you want a place to showcase your art, there is a Facebook group which is for creators of any kind of creative um, outlet. It's just a really supportive group where you get to showcase some of your pieces and hopefully get people to comment on them and give you some constructive feedback to help you grow but also to give you confidence how good your art is and like i said there's any uh, any type of medium is okay to be on that channel uh, so if you haven't already consider joining on to that i'm going to shove this around up to the edges I'm trying to keep it fairly level, but it's not going to be that way. I'm trying not to breathe too heavy in my mask, <laughs> in my respirator. And then what I'm going to do next is just give it a tiny little torch, a little bit of heat just to get those pigments in a nice place 
I'm just going to bleed these a little bit though. It's a beautiful colour when you get this cyan and the ultramarine together. And then I will check what's happening in chat so you don't think I'm being a rude guest. Just blending in those strands a little bit. When we add the heat gun, it's going to uh, ble bleed them anyway, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to take my gloves off because that should be most of the sticky mess at this stage. Ta-da! And I'm just going to get my heat gun on, so apologies if anybody doesn't like the noise of that, so just... Avert your ears or turn the sound down for a little bit. raising up a bit and I'm going to mix in my white but before I do that I'm going to see I'm going to try and do less white I have done silicone drops things if it fails after this try yeah what is the silicone drop thing sending prayers out to Stacy ah storms out there for whoever is out there with uh um the storms i hope you're safe now the only time i've needed to use a separate cup is for my white but this time we have the luxury of quite a bit of resin left over so we're not going to go sparingly on our white i get two two bits out sorry i am here couple of black bits come through my resin it's because I recycled my cup and I must have left a few little bits in there and that's very frustrating I mean we'll be having another uh, coat of it anyway anyway I am sorry if you hear a, a noise it's my casting craft at the end of its life so I might it might make a farty noise again <laughs> That is not me, that's the casting craft. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I've got a good consistency. Okay, that looks a fairly good consistency. It's opaque. I didn't put too much in there, in my opinion. And I am going to just start to replicate where I've had some of the sea foam around these shells for a little bit. So that should add value to it. You don't have to do this it's just a a thing that i enjoy doing or like to do just as though that wave has just recently gone over it it's going to continue moving and doing its own thing but i want to put it on now so that by the time i put my white into the waves it's going to blow blow forward with it and then I'll just let it do whatever it wants to do and not pay too much attention to it.
Now these are actually going to be in the wave anyway, so it shouldn't make, it shouldn't need to do a lot, but just in case it doesn't, it's going to help some of the, the foam push forward a little bit over the areas. I just hope that my starfish will shine through, but we will see. I'm going to go over it with just at the edge of where that blue is meeting. That's where I think my starfish may disappear, but it's okay. I've got a second one. So I'm imagining this is where most of the foam is going to be. Add a little bit around this. A little bit of boundaries. Sorry, I can't wa watch chat at this point, so I hope you're all okay. And I'm going to follow where my other waves were, or the white. And I'm going to rotate the thickness and just leave a, a little bit of gaps between because you want some highlights, lowlights in different areas of your cloud, and clouds <laughs> oh dear now I've got some clear left as well so when we come back through for that second second go we're going to be okay with that but at the minute what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of clear in there as well just to help Some of those tones. Don't want a lot in there. All right, we're going to give this a run through for the first time, and then we'll come back and do another run through. How is everybody? Hello, Chippy Doodle. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining. How are you all going as well at the minute? Hope you're doing well. Alright, I have my uh, heat gun about to blast off, so apologies for the noise. I have it set on 390. Alright, so we're coming through now. I'm just going to blow a little bit of this foam. I don't want to melt it, so I keep just going past it. Very lightly. And it'll start to move quite organically. A little bit here. And then back and forth here. I'm just going to let that settle down uh, for a little bit and see how we go. 
Miss Shara popping in to say hello. Well, hello, Miss Seashells. Thank you so much for popping in to say hello. I really appreciate that. Hello, everybody. So I'm fairly happy with this. I'm going to come through and add a tiny little bit more why we're going to come back through a second pass i quite like the milky foam that is coming onto the shore here and there's that gradiating off blue there and we're getting some nice uh, movement in here i think i'm just unhappy with that part there i just want to blast it a little bit more but we want it to settle down a bit and alison this is what you need to do if you're coming back through for a second run you need to let it all cool down again and then what you need to do is come back through and apply a little bit more white slightly further back and you'll do it again and then that again will give you the tones of the darkness and then the lightness uh doc trader if you look on video one which is the live i did yesterday at the very beginning of that video, I spent five minutes talking you through where I got this from and how I upcycle it. So have a little pop on there and have a little look what they look like at the beginning. So Alison, are you there? Knock, knock. Alison? <laughs> Sharon calling Alison. Now, the reason I'm asking Alison is she's been struggling a little bit with her waves or foam. And I'm going to go over and help her. I just need to work out what day. But I'm hoping that seeing this is giving us some inspiration as well. So, should, has she disappeared? <laughs> has Alison disappeared on me? Well, I never... Alrighty, so I am just coming back through with some casting craft. You could quite happily leave um, these waves as they are, but I'm just going to touch up and I know <laughs> from my past experiences that I can do this okay without it ruining anything. This helps with your casting craft that is going to sink, bring it to the top, but also it helps you just do the fine tuning. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. This I need to fill in a few gaps. I want to time a little bit more here, but then I want to blast out that there. Stacy, Shaw Vader is happy that you're happy. <laughs> and then we are just about done then for this layer. And tomorrow we can do another live to see how it's all finished and what it's dried like and if I'm happy or if we need to change anything else. Oh, here she is, Alison. I was ringing you. <laughs> so I just want to check, Alison, that you saw what I did before, which is I've gone through and done my foam, and now I'm letting it cool down, and then I'm coming back through again to redo it again, because that's going to help you with your light shades, dark shades, and it all coming around. Anyway, so I feel the more foam here. I'm trying not to go too much. Happy with where it is there, happy where it is there. I probably just need to drag a few lines through. A little line where that first wave would have been. You don't have to do this level of detail, it's just something. I personally enjoy uh, when I'm looking at the pieces and again you don't have to do it okay so this is where I want to get the balance right away I'm going to come back with my white foam now just behind where it was before adding a little bit more of that turquoise just to try and hopefully give you a little bit more depth.
a sản xuất mà nó ở chỗ này and I've got a little bit of white back if I just need to highlight anything so we're going to go back through with this again um, when do you wear a mask versus a respirator? Um, I only wear a mask really when I'm using powders to start with or jesmonite um, if you're working with resin you should always have a respirator on um, oh I got something all right so Alison we're going back through again now for the second one I'm just going to see what's going to happen with that line there. Just, there's a little bit there that's got a bit too much gap in it. So I'm just going to add my foam itself and almost paint it on now. And that's one thing you can do as well. Don't be afraid to just come in with your casting craft and highlight certain areas anything that doesn't make sense or you can come back in and you can get your heat gun on it again but the the idea is you don't want it too solid I'm just playing with it at the minute so I'm not watching chat apologies So I'm just adding a few little sort of highlights and I'm hoping that with every one of these I'm doing you can see where I'm putting it and I'll just give this a little blast again in just these areas. It was a shower in here. And then Okay. I'll just give those a little blast.
Okay, so I'm going to leave this to uh, work its magic again. And I'm just going to come in with a little spray. And then I'm going to see, this will continue to move. It'll continue to bleed out. It'll continue to soften. And I'm going to see how I like that. And then whether we need to do another layer or whether that's it. So I'm just going to give a tiny spray. Just try and get rid of some of those micro bubbles that's down there. And I'm going to see how that looks. But for tonight, this is, I think, where we need to take this piece. So, Alison, I hope on rewatch you will have got some ideas from this. And have some fun with your casting craft. It could be that tomorrow we might just need a clear and just a white, but I don't know, I quite like them. There's a lot of power in there, there's a lot of emotion in there. You've got your different colours coming through. It's going to keep bleeding a little bit. I feel we've got a little bit of natural movement in there. And I'm really happy with it. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts. Now, with these bits down here, you can sort of play around with them or not if you want them to look a little bit more. It bleeds beautifully. Sometimes you just want to let it be, but... It responds really nice to casting craft when it's a lot like with the resin alone. So you can feather it out a little bit, make it look like it's disappearing a little bit more. Yeah, you can have fun with it. It's almost like it's a yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'd say floating, but we're all good. So. I'm glad that you like this. Right, I'm going to take my gloves off so I can take my respirator off and then I'll close all this up and just see if there's any questions before we finish tonight's session. I wanted to keep it within the hour and I've just about done, done it. So can anybody tell me as well if we have a live tonight with the wonderful Felicia, the crafting nook? <laughs> anyway i'm going to call it an, an end for the day so thank you all so much sandy thank you glad you enjoyed it uh thank you all so much for being here oh yes we do have it so the wonderful i just never know I, it's because i'm all over the spot <laughs> this week so i don't know when when there is a live or not but if you're not pop over and see the crafting nook uh and show her some love before we go, if you do have an art channel and you want people to come over and have a little look, pop a little heart at the side of your name now so that we can pop over there, show you some love. And so we've got Lainey's Crafting Corner, pop over and see it. Miss Felicia from The Crafting Nook, pop over and see here. Her. We have the wonderful um, Cosmic Carol. I know she's got a, um, a channel, pop over. It looks like we've got soaking blessed creations pop over and have a look what her channels around uh who else do we have in here that has a channel that uh wouldn't mind people's visiting them and if you do have time and you're watching this on replay please pop over and see people there's enough people uh, to share the love on youtube and there are so many great artists out there that inspire us all but also the community uh, that follows through they've got a, such a wealth of knowledge that they're happy to share with other people so yay <laughs> oh stacy wonder will be drawing a 500 winner too so wonder what's wonder's channel called stacy and if you haven't already on the way how pop your finger up and helen it's lovely to know that you've learned so much from me that feedback is lovely so thank you so much it's wonder's creation 922 uh <laughs> much love so i've now got to work on my nails um birthday present 25th so i'm cutting it very fine to finish it and get it shipped over to australia in time uh the collaboration i'm working on with um the wonderful felicia from crafty nook i've managed to rescue it now the third coat in uh so yeah so watch this space there will be something coming later Lena, you watch the rewatch 
uh, that's absolutely lovely uh, anytime that you can watch it really grateful so tomorrow at seven o'clock if you're around I'll show you how this all settles down and we'll decide together if we feel it needs another layer or if we feel that it's as it's meant to be and that we should just embrace this ocean uh, if that's the case we might just need to do a top coat uh, but yeah come back and see me tomorrow I will really really appreciate it are you going to try and do less white? So hopefully you've learnt something from me, Alison. It's a little, heat it up, little, heat it up, little. <laughs> blow it, blow it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, wonderful people. Uh, have a wonderful Monday evening, and I will see you on the next live if you have time to join me. And yay.